In this video guys, I want to talk about my reset shells for the Order of the Knights Templar. Okay, so we've got a bunch of different books here and I think there's some really, really good examples. Still building my library as far as the Templars go and I know there's a lot of really good reads out there. If you know of some really good books, please leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. The Knights Templar by Alan Butler is a really, really good read. I highly, highly recommend this book and this is a reasonably inexpensive book at just $17 US. That's new. You can often get a lot of really good books secondhand through uh, charity bookstores or charity book sales, that kind of thing, such as the Lifeline Book Fest, which is held every year. And this is a really fantastic read and it does cover a lot of their, their sort of myths and the um, stigmatisms that have surrounded the Knights Templar for really quite a long period of time. The Knights Templar by Sean Martin, actually a very inexpensive read as well. This was only eight pounds new, so roughly 16 or so dollars. Uh, a really fantastic book. This does cover the, the history. This is only a, a relatively small book, and it's only roughly about 160 pages. Uh, I really like it. It's a concise book, but it does cover um, a lot of fantastic information at the same time. The Osprey book. Uh, so many good titles by Osprey and they really do have some fantastic reads. Um, I really like these books because they cover off on a lot of the really good sort of pictorial references. Um, they use a lot of really good primary source material and I really, really do recommend their book. This covers the Templars between uh, 1120 and 1312. Really, really good points in this book, um, and as I say, really fantastic visual cues. If you're a reenactor, this is definitely one of the books that should be on your shelf. The Knights Templar by Helen Nicholson. Again, relatively inexpensive at just £10 sterling. That's roughly $25 or so. Dollars. Um, and I think this is a really good read. This covers off a lot of really good historical topics. I'm not going to go into to all of it, but um, as I say, there's some really good points made in this book. Uh, Dan Jones, The Templars, again, truly fantastic read, very, very, you know, uh, well-researched book. There's a lot of really good history in here, uh, a lot of really his good historical facts and a lot of really good uh, contextual information. So again, truly recommend this book, um, really, really good read to have. Alrighty guys, um, not very many titles in this video. As I say, I'm building my research library, but there are some good books there. Please leave a comment below if you've got some good recommendations. I'd love to hear from you. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.